what's up friends welcome back to my channel I'm Wendy for those of you who are new um, today I am doing the mom tag with several other mamas here on YouTube I will link everybody down below um, so go check out their channel if you came from my and you came from my channel and you didn't saw them tell them I sent you if you um, came from them welcome I again I'm Wendy I've been married to my husband for 20 years we have five children. Um, my stepdaughter is the oldest, and then we have three girls, and then we have the baby. Um, all of the girls are 15 and older. The baby is five months old. Um, crib next to me. He, my office, crib, bedroom, all of it's in one area. But if you see me looking down, I'm looking down at my list. But let's get all right on into this. All right. First question How old was I when I had my first child? This is going to shock some of you, maybe, maybe not, but I was 17 and a half, two weeks in one day, <laughs> the day she was born. Um, she was really premature. There's a whole separate video coming out of how Adam and I tried not having a baby, apart from not doing the motions to have a baby, um, but we did get pregnant. Um, she was six and a half weeks early. I know down to the date how old I was because one of my brother's birthdays today before her, and I know... Um, he's two and a half years and two weeks older than me. So it's not that hard to do the math with that. Um, so yeah, I was a teen mom. Joey is now 19. Um, so Adam and I have been together 20 years. Yes. Um, yes, 20 years. Um, and we've been married for actually only 17 years. So, um, but I just say we've been married for 20 years. It all works out the same. So we were high school sweethearts, little backstory. I know we were sweet, sweet high school sweethearts and then we had Joey when I was in high school Adam was in college um what was the hardest thing about being pregnant for nine months here's the thing I've never been pregnant for nine months well I guess with Harry I was um all of the girls were premature I'm pregnant for nine months with one child out of the five well one I didn't give birth to but um it was hard I gave birth at the end of July it's hot um, but it was fun. It was worth it. All right. So question number three, can you think of any good things you enjoyed during those nine months? I enjoyed being pregnant. I love being pregnant. It was wonderful. I got to eat whatever I wanted. I thankfully have never had an issue with morning sickness. I, yeah, I just loved it all. Um, let me think back cause Harry's only five months old. So that one's easier. The girl's 15, 16, and 19 years ago. I have no idea. Um, but let's see. Harry, one thing I enjoyed with him. Um, yeah, I just, I enjoyed, I just guess I enjoyed like eating. I enjoyed being pregnant, like just all around being pregnant. It's just this, you know, for some of you that are, I don't know if you're, it's your first pregnancy and you're watching this, there is nothing like feeling a baby kick inside of you it's crazy it's weird um so yeah so hopefully there is a question in here that I didn't enjoy because I did have one of those um I haven't read any of these questions yet so it's all new um I skimmed them when we were deciding this um all right in my opinion were all the things you heard about childbirth accurate or way off <sighs> so when I was having Joey nobody told me about childbirth nobody talked to me about childbirth um, Joey is the oldest biological grandchild on my side. My parents count Desiree as their grandchild, but Joey was the first. No one ever told me anything. No one told me what to expect. No one told me a well, horse or is nothing. So I just, I did it. All right. So the next question is, would I have handled childbirth differently if I could redo it? I don't think so. Um, we are the mindset of birthing plan is whatever's best for baby. Um, of course I wanted the epidurals. I am team epidural mom. Um, if y'all can do it naturally, no way. Um, I go to preterm labor. Yeah. So I had to deal with it a lot before the babies were born that I didn't want to deal with it while they were being born. All right. I think that's a little better. The sun's coming in cause it's kind of setting. So it was giving a weird glow like right here. Um, but, all right, let's see, where were we at? Um, what would be your advice for someone who's about to have a baby? 
So funny thing is, this just happened. One of my cousins, um, they're trying to. Um, and so she's asking me a lot of questions. So my one big advice that I give anybody who's ever asked me about childbirth, being pregnant, getting pregnant, anything like that, you can have your birth plan, but be flexible. Because if you have that birth plan of all natural, in the water, you know, you have this plan where you want to do this, 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 and this, and then something happens and you can't, you then feel like a failure. You then have like that, like internal, um, like mama guilt that you did something wrong or you're not fit to be a mom because you couldn't give a vaginal birth or you had to have an epidural or, you know, whatever. And it's like, so just be flexible. Go in the mindset of, yes, you want to do this. Yes, you want, like, okay, so with Harry, yes, I wanted to have an epidural. Yes, I wanted to have him vaginally. But my birth plan was whatever's best for baby. So I did have the epidural. I did have him vaginally. And the only, only thing that was, like, a must-have, and that was by my doctors, which I can link his birth story down below with my back and everything is I had to have him on my back. Um, so I couldn't like do like the bar or squatting or a ball or anything like that because that could have injured me. So it was, I was either pushing him out or they were going to take him out. That was my birth plan. My birth plan was whatever's best for baby. So just be flexible, like have what you want, but know that if something changes, it's fine. As long as you and baby are fine, it's fine. <laughs> Um, what has been the hardest thing about being a mom? Y'all, preteens. Preteens. Um, <laughs> is really hard. Um, I have a unique case. Two of the girls are on the autism spectrum with other issues, so that's somewhat challenging, but that's not hard. Like, it's fine. Like, no different. Preteens. Middle schoolers need to go away on an island and then come back when they're back to being civilized. Um, I mean that very dearly with having four teenage girls. So like just teenagers, preteens. Puberty sucks. Puberty sucked when you went into it. Puberty sucks when your kids are going through it. Ah, you think toddler years are bad, y'all, if you're new. Whew. Preteens. What has been the most rewarding thing about being a mom? Everything. Um, I wake up every day happy that I'm a mom to all these kids. I wake up just rejoicing in them. Um, I know that sounds corny, but you know, enjoy the small things, enjoy the little things like Harry's learning how to sit up right now. It's amazing. You know, in a year from now, I'm going to be like, why did we teach him to walk? You know, jokingly, but yeah, just enjoying the small things. Like I like it when the girls get excited to see me. I like it when they get excited to see their dad. Um, so just cherishing those little moments. Um, what was the most surprising thing you discovered about being a mom? That I have patience. Um, I'm the youngest of six. Don't have a lot of patience when it came to that. But with the kids, I have a lot of patience. And just going with the flow in that, um, you know, it's okay if you're having a bad day. Cause I was really hard about doing that. I had a really hard time asking for help when the girls were little and needing like doctor's help and all of that. Um, and it's okay. What is the best memory you've had involving your child? Um, one of the newest ones was even though it was a thing, but seeing how excited the girls were for the baby to be born, like they were happy you know what I mean? And then I love taking them to Disney, seeing their face when they're there. Ah, warms my mama's heart. Um, what is the most exciting milestone? I think my most exciting milestone is when, um, when they learn to walk. Like that's like my favorite one. Like, you know, they're no longer a baby. They're no longer crawling. They're no longer whatever. But when they learn to walk, there's just like this euphoria of like you don't have a baby anymore you have a little person um what is the worst thing your child has ever done y'all 
and stepped on her. Desiree, love her dearly. Love her, love her, love her. <laughs> when she met Joey for the first time, we were at home. The girls, Joey, Desiree, and I were at home. Adam was at work. I had a phone call. This was before cell phone, so you know I had to go into the room, pick up the phone. Um, and then I started washing bottles. So I was gone maybe 10 minutes. And I was like, wow, it's really quiet. I left. I was in the kitchen. So like I was here. Desiree and Joey were here. Joey was like three weeks old. And all of a sudden it's really quiet. And I come in the room and the blanket and the baby are gone. And Desiree's still sitting there playing. And I was like, Desiree, where's the baby? I don't know. I'm like, what do you mean you don't know? And so I'm frantically searching around the house. Like, where the hell is my child that can't even hold its head up? I'm checking all the doors. Doors are locked. Everything. And I'm just like, what in the heck? Where is she? And so I start searching. So then I asked Desiree again. I go, Desiree, where is the baby? And her response is, I don't know. She, her left. So now after 10 minutes of not being able to find my baby, I finally call 911 and Adam. And I'm now a hot mess because I'm a new mom. I'm, you know, postpartum. I am hysterical and we can't find her. So then they come, we still can't find her. All the doors were locked. We have no idea what happened to this baby. And they're getting ready to put out an Amber Alert. They're asking what she had on. They're checking things. And I just happened to have a, um, like a detective go into the girls' room. And, you know, I'm now being questioned because I'm postpartum. So they think I harmed my baby. Um, and Joey sneezed. And the detective was like, he goes, I hear something, hold on. And so then she made another noise again and they couldn't figure out where it was coming from. So they had, you know, search dogs. They brought one in and the dog found Joey on the floor where all of Desiree's stuffed animals were. He had her wrapped around her and literally this was all that was poking out. And if Joey didn't sneeze, we don't know how long she would have been there. So it's probably the worst thing that any of my kids have ever did is Desiree hid the baby because she didn't want the baby there. So then we had to have a talk about we don't hide our sister. Um, but yeah, that was probably the worst thing they ever did. Worst feeling in my life. What habit do you wish your child didn't have? Ooh, um, I don't know. Hmm to think about that like they don't really have any bad habits oh wait no i do have one all of my kids crack their knuckles i hate that sound i hate that they do only habit that they have that i wish they didn't have cracking knuckles yeah looking at addison who came in here right now yeah cracking knuckles all right next question is what habit of theirs that make me proud they're very close sister bonds um and they all and now with the baby so like they're just very close and they're caring to each other and they're loving so like that's a good habit. I remember growing up and my sisters and brothers and I were always like, ah, you know. Um, there's a kind of a gap between me and everybody else. Two and a half years and everyone else is like really close in age. So, but yeah, I think it's just a great habit is how they're very close together. Joey's phenomenal with her sisters. So if you're watching this, you do a great job with them. Um, okay, do you share any similarities with your children? both physically and personality. If y'all have been around here, the girls look just like me. Um, so we look a lot alike. They're all um, lighter sh shades, color of hair. Um, Desiree obviously doesn't look like me, but the other three look an awful lot like me. Um, Joey has my like quick-witted funniness and all of that. Addison and Kennedy have like my like generosity and warm heart and all of that um so yeah they look just like me i'll insert a picture here of the four of us so you can see how much they look like me where would i like your children to be in 10 years so in 10 years desiree will be 31 joey will be 29 addison will be 26 Kennedy will be 25 and the baby will be 10 um I hope they're all doing well and have jobs and Harry is surviving middle school what is something that having a child has taught you 
patience and being flexible. Um, I have to have lots and lots of patience. Um, one thing that they've taught me that is not a good thing is I now have a germ problem that I didn't have before. Um, thank you, Joey. Appreciate that. Did you imagine that you'd be the mom at the age that you became a mom? No, I did not want to be a teen mom. I did not plan to be a teen mom. I did not do any of that. I wanted to graduate high school and then maybe start a family. Um, Joey was born spring break my junior year of high school. I still graduated on time with my class with a 15 month old. So that's amazing. Um, but I wouldn't go back. Like who really plans to be a teen parent? Really? Like I sure didn't, you know, some of you out there might have don't want to put any judgment on you. Um, describe your child in a single sentence. I have a lot of children. Um, Desiree is strong willed. Joey is caring and, um, very stubborn. Addison is my ball of emotions, um, in every which way, um, but, but loving. Kennedy is my quiet reserved one and Harrison is five months old and fat little chubby thing. So he's cute as he can be. How have you changed as a person since you became a mom? I feel like I've calmed down a lot. Like I've slowed down. I haven't been so go, 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 go. I, you know, um, so I mellowed out as a mom, especially like the older I've gone, I've mellowed out. Um, so yeah, but that's it. Those are all the questions. I hope y'all enjoyed watching it. It's going to be a little long cause I tend to get chatty. Um, um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, go check out all those other mamas and we'll see you next time. Bye.